This is the intake side at the wall of wind. As you can see, these 700 horsepower fans are taller than me, and there's 12 of them. They generate a lot of power. Wow. The narrow fasteners are spaced two and a quarter inches apart, and the regular fasteners are spaced four and a half inches apart. was the structure got ripped away from its bolted on base. So there's a limit to what bolts and screws can do. Hi, I'm Joe Weber from Edmond, Oklahoma. I purchased my storm stoppers after seeing the large missile test video that they have online. My wife and I wanted window protection that was easy for us to put on and didn't leave holes in our house. With just a carpet knife and a straight edge, I was able to cut and install the storm stoppers myself. This last year, we have put up our storm stoppers over 20 times for hail storms and tornado warnings. It takes about 15 minutes to install the storm stoppers on all 12 of my windows. Let me show you how easy they are to put on. This is a typical storm stopper panel. As you can see, they're really light and easy to handle. Just fit it into the bottom of the window, push it into place. I like to use the included mallet. After tapping all the spots, your storm stoppers are installed. The nice features about the storm stoppers, besides the protection, is once they're installed, they don't block very much light. They're white and translucent, so a lot of light gets through into the house. Also, if there's an emergency and you need to escape the house through a window, you can just push on the storm stoppers from the out inside and they come right off.
I'm Florian Gickard from Norman, Oklahoma. I put up Storm Stoppers in 2015 before it came the F2 tornado and a terrible hailstorm. You can see the spots that it hit on the Storm Stoppers that saved my windows and that saved me several thousand dollars.